If part 284C3M1B7C8E13C9C6D3P34P, line 22F1FA19C3M1B7C8E13C9C6D3P34P, water, hammer, pulsation, dampeners, 5G, well steady. Here's our alien radial signal. And uh, this is uh, about the water hammer, a pulsation dampener for long distance communication device for deep space UFO spaceship or Noel data. So January 26, 2013, today's February 14th. The keyword that Bronner Emmett Teller um, led to Arnie's Law in line 22 F1FA 19C3M 1B7C8E 13C9C6D 3P33. Bronner Emmett Teller Rainy Nickel Meadows 5G Well Study. Okay. February 3rd, our keywords were Newton's Law, Classical Wave Equation. Um, this leads to our keyword Wave Velocity, then Pulse Wave Velocity, and then Velocity of the Forward Traveling Wave. Now we're on the Water Hammer and Mullins Court to Wave Equation. Um, these are from the previous video. Line 22, F1, FA, 19, C3, M1, B7, C8, E, 13, C9, C6, D, 3P, 34, O. So Pulse Wave Velocity... Mons Courtway 5G well setting. So the key word is water hammer and Mons Courtway equation. Quote from Wiki Water hammer, or more generally fluid hammer, is a pressure surge or wave caused when a fluid, usually a light but sometimes also a gas, in motion is forced to stop or change direction suddenly, momentum change. Water hammer commonly occurs when a valve closes suddenly at the, an end of a pipeline system and a pressure wave propagates in the pipe. It's also called hydraulic shock. This pressure wave can cause major problems, from noise and vibration to pipe collapse. It is possible to reduce the effects of the water hammer pulses with accumulators and other features. Rough calculations can be made either using the Joukowsky equation or more accurate ones using the method of characteristics. Quotes diagrams from blogs. The key word is water hammer phenomena. So here's the diagram here. It talks about the pressure surge for the water hammer, idle pressure, characteristics with no water hammer. And it says closing operation, flow pressures are P, idle pressures P, surge, and opening operation, and then it says total pressure. If the valve is suddenly closed, closing time TCL equals zero with stationary outflow at velocity W1, and if the pipe run is thus completely shut off, the fluid column is abruptly decelerated from W1 to W equals zero. This produces a pressure wave which passes through the medium against the flow direction at the speed of sound A. The pressure wave is reflected at the tank outlet, moves back to the valve inlet, and is reflected there again. Superimposition of the pressure waves against the flow direction and the reflected pressure waves results in pressure piling, the maximum value of which can be calculated in accordance with the following equation. So there's the equation there. Uh, pressure directly after closing valve, speed of propagation or sound, density of fluid, and velocity with stationary outflow. This pressure piling in accordance with equation 10 is referred to as pressure surge of water hammer. It can be many times the operating pressure and can thus lead to bothersome noises and above all increased pressure stressing of the system. <coughs> Sorry. Valve upstream pressure as a function of time when opening or closing the valve. This is a link www.burkert.com. And then here's another graph. Um, shows the piston absorbs the shock wave. Calculated volume of gas. Piston at rest. Shock wave starts with quick valve closure. Shock wave dissipated. Quick closing valve and water flow. Okay, so what is water hammer? A water hammer, more generally fluid hammer, is a pressure surge or wave caused by the kinetic energy of a fluid in motion when it is caused to stop or change direction suddenly. The movement of liquid mass in a pipe is kinetic energy, which is proportional to the mass of liquid times the square of the velocity. For this reason, most pipe sizing charts recommend keeping the vo flow velocity at below 5 Ft divided by S or 1.5 m divided by S. Water hammer is a sudden increase in the pressure of a liquid due to an instantaneous conversion of momentum to pressure. This is caused by a very rapidly moving pressure wave in a closed conduit, usually resulting from a sudden stoppage or change in the mass velocity. 
Water hammer formula, P equals 0 0.070, and then it's got V in brackets, L in brackets, and divided by T plus P1. Where P increase in pressure, P1 is inlet pressure, V is flow velocity in FT divided by seconds, and T equals time in seconds, valve closing time. L is upstream pipe length in feet water hammer formula. I'm oh, sorry. Those should be separated, right? Water hammer formula, P equals, um, in brackets, 0 0.070, bracket V, bracket L, and then divided by T plus P1. So here's another graph here. We've got air-driven reciprocating intensifier on the left side there, and on the right is Teton injection pump B. And then you have pressure pulsation intercepted in the middle, high velocity suction stroke needs dampener for filling. Uh, it's less than 15,000 psi from inventory, and then remedy is pulsation dampeners. And that's what they look like. The most current pulsation dampener design is the hydrophenom hydrophenomic dampener, consisting of a pressure vessel containing a compressed gas, generally air of nitrogen separated from the process liquid by a bladder or diaphragm. Um, IGKnowledgeBase.com there's the link there. Keyword Mullen's Cartier equation is going to be in our next video. Thanks for watching.